Hey, survivors. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. And today I want to talk about, um, I want to cover a couple of things. I want to talk about narcissism in our society. I want to talk about um, a little bit of the legal system and how it affects us and um, parenting, you know, what people consider to be um, parenting with narcissists and um, just how people also seem to hate victims. So um, let me start off with um, that first, how people in our society as a whole, it seems like a lot of people now hate victims of abuse. I think it comes from like a lack of empathy in our society. Now, I think everybody, I mean, lots of people out there are just so selfish now in nature and just concerned about their own personal lives. As long as something's not affecting them, then, you know, they're okay. And um, just hearing about abuse stories, you got some people that side towards one gender. You know, sometimes you got men that side with men. You know, there are a lot of men that don't believe in the child support system. They don't, um, that believe that women are just too emotional and they overreact and they believe it's wrong to take a man to court. But that's the only side that they're covering. They're not covering the side about this person, you know, potentially being, you know, a sketchy person, you know, being a person that's in and out of jail, has drug issues. It it just seems to be very one-sidedness in opinions about here, out here in our society. And, um, I know we're in a big father's right um, era right now, and a lot of men may disagree with me. Don't bite my head off. I'm just saying that right now is probably the biggest time, you know, in the past several years, you know, where the um, things have changed, and now it's a big time for fathers to be involved no matter what, you know. So it um, in the kids' lives and, you know, when it comes to co-parenting and the legal system, no matter what um, they've done, or mothers, you know, no matter what they've done or how toxic they are to the children, I think, you know, um, especially the legal system, I guess they feel like this is just the best way to deal with things. Since in the past, they have been more one-sided towards women. And, you know, I've heard you talk to a lot of older gentlemen in our society and they'll tell you, oh, man, it was so bad back in the days. You know, all they do is take all your money from your paycheck and make you pay. And you don't even get to see the kids and things of that nature, which is wrong, depending on their circumstances, you know. But basically, it um, it just seems like there's a lack of empathy because of what people, you know, feel or believe and the things that they don't see are the things that they don't understand, which is narcissism. You know, they don't understand the lack of empathy. They don't understand how they use people. They don't understand how manipulative they are and how they emotionally affect the children and, and things like that. The children are, it is, you know, I have to say, I really do feel bad for the kids. The kids are struggling so much with narcissistic parents. Nobody should have to be raised like that. It's not right. It's wrong. You know, the kids have, it's like the narcissist breaks their soul, just like they did us. You know, um, the kids can go around sabotaging themselves in school, their behaviors. Um, you know, they, they can exhibit a lot of bad negative behaviors in school because of that frustration of being with the narcissist on the weekends or living with the narcissist. They have to take that out. And it just it just shows they're going to take it out somewhere. So why not school a place where they're at all day and they and they got a lot of rules and a lot of structure to follow. And it's just pouring out how toxic the environment that they're in in a school setting. Everything comes out there, you know, um, they can sabotage their relationships, their friendships with other children because they um hold a lot of rage and a lot of confusion is built up inside of the children of narcissists. They, um, are very, 
they they have a lot of pain inside of them. So, you know, they get frustrated. They do things and say things to other kids that get them in trouble. And they end up having bad relationships like the narcissist does with other people, you know. And, um, you know, I've heard some people call their children or be concerned that their children may be a narcissist. And it's said, you know, by um, psychiatry, you know, in the psychology um, field that you can't determine if your child is a narcissist until they reach the age of 18, I guess, because of maybe their behaviors can change or we don't know if they're going to be permanent, but I guess it's more um, appropriate not to consider them to be narcissists until after their age, just because um, the term narcissism is, is, you know, viewed as something negative and which it is. So, um, the, the problem, like I said, with society is that, um, they seem to hate victims, you know, it's a lack of empathy, it's a lack of, um, caring, and it's a, it's a, a lot of things going on that if people are, you know, they worry about their own jobs, their own careers, their own families, you know, again, so when they hear, um, you know, things going on like that, you know, divorces or court or whatever, people automatically think, nope, both of them should work together. They the ones that, you know, were in a relationship with each other. So, oh, they need to work together, figure it out without even thinking that being a little bit more open minded and thinking that, hey, maybe something is mentally going on with one person. Maybe a person got addiction issues or, you know, it's just a lack of education going on, a lack of understanding also, you know, and um, within the court system, they seem to take on the same, some of the same views as people in our society. Um, it's kind of like they used to be together. If you didn't know he was a criminal, you know, while y'all were together, why is it a problem now without realizing it and being open-minded that narcissists hide everything from you? We know this, you know, we've heard this before <laughs> and we've experienced this. They hide everything you don't know until usually after the relationship is over or it's later on down the line. And you don't know they're abusive until they do it to you and, and hurt you. So um, the court system, a lot of judges, a lot of attorneys, CPS workers, mediators, child evaluators, um, a lot of those people themselves are narcissists. A lot of them um, narcissists, they I would say some of them are um, of what we call the higher functioning narcissists. They um, kind of somehow kept their behavior and control enough to make it through the educational system and really, um, you know, score their way out of, you know, um, the colleges and institutions that they went to. And, um, those, that's what higher function, functioning narcissists can do versus the lower functioning ones. They have the ability, the capability to actually dedicate themselves and get obsessed with, high test scores and um, putting all their energy and time into the educational system um, because of what they may get out of it, the benefit, being able to um, make a lot of money, being able to control a lot of, being able to have that power and control a lot of people's lives, you know, um, narcissists, you know, fiend for power and control. That's how they are. So, A lot of those higher functioning ones are in those fields, you know, again. So if you go to, you know, if you're one of the ones that have dealt with the brutal family court system, you will know that these judges, some of them will eat you up and um, spit you out. Um, You know, they know the situation. They have all these facts and evidence in front of them. And they want to completely ignore everything because they have the power to do so, right? Right. You can tell them that your narcissistic ex was beating on you in front of the kid. That doesn't matter to them because they're still a parent, right? They still need to be in the kid's life. You could tell them um, they're doing drugs around the kid. That they still going to flip it on you and make it seem like this person needs to be still involved in the kid's life, which we know is like a no-no. 
we know that is not good for kids to be around something like that. For somebody to tell you that, it can literally feel like someone stabbed you in in your soul because you know it is it's false. It's not true. It's wrong, you know. But just the power that they have and the lack of new laws to, um, you know, to cover a lot of circumstances like that. And, uh, you know, the flexibility that they have in family court, they can do what they want to do. And it it feels like your life is destroyed. You know, Um, they'll tell you that no matter what the narcissist does, y'all need to work together. And it's like, y'all, this person is breaking your court orders. This person is the one that's not bringing my kid on time. The one that's not sharing information with me, um, doing all these toxic, unstable things. And they still don't care, you know. Um, and a lot of them judges, you know, I just heard one, um, young lady reach out to me and very sad story. Her, um, the court decided to give her children to the narcissist. And which, which is, which is so unfortunate about this is that she was uneducated on narcissism. I mean, she just didn't get how he did it. And what she explained to me was that, you know, um, he's been like, basically, he had the kids lying, you know, to therapists for him. He had the kids. The kids are terrified of him, you know, and the kids were lying to teach people in the school actually for him. So children will also do that. They will lie for the narcissist. You know, um, it's very, very painful. And um, let me just um, talk about this real quick, though. But um, what happened is that he's been working on those kids for years and she didn't realize it because she didn't have the education on narcissism that she needed. But I suspect he's been working on them, manipulating them, um, playing with their emotions so much where they feel bad for him. They do everything like their loyalty is undeniable to the narcissist. And that's very dangerous because, um, you know, she moved on, was happy, um, you know, just had a new baby and, um, you know, just very, I guess, vulnerable, you know, because she didn't understand narcissism and she just started over her, her life over and a narcissist has been playing in this for years and he got it to the point where the kids was lying in court and the courts just without no evidence, you know, other than the lies, no physical evidence at all other than, you know, what they said to the therapist or whatever and just, just word of mouth without looking at parental alienation or any of those things, taking those into consideration, they just wiped them out and gave the narcissist custody. So this is what narcissists all of them want of the children. They do want custody because it gives them power. It gives them um, power and resources. Those are the things that narcissists thrive and live for. Those creatures um, love the access that, you know, um, and attention that kids give them, the attention, power, and resources, the attention they get from other family members, other people, um, new supply from looking like a good parent, um, the resources, depending on what level of life, a lower, lower function of narcissists will use kids for um, the state's benefits, you know, um, food stamps and, you know, welfare benefits, higher function narcissists will um, definitely try to go after the other person for um, child support and just ruin them, you know, drag, get everything they can out of them, you know. So um, both of them will actually go for child support. But the thing is that, you know, my thought is that she had been educated more throughout the years. She'd been able to see a lot of signs and understand how to, you know, um, you know, I just believe that she'll understand how to you know, use some of the techniques that we use in this community and how to help her kids. I mean, it's very hard, but I think it's a lot of different things you can counteract some of that um, narcissism when it comes to your children. It's hard because as a parent, you're already dealing with the narcissist. You may be dealing with the legal system. You may have, you know, just, you know, it may have messed up your finances. It is, it is so hard that, um, and it, you know, it can bring on a lot of stress and depression, but I think, you know, when it comes to kids, especially the ones in the teens, teenagers and the ones that are talking or the preteens or whatever, um, it takes a lot of putting positive energy into them. 
you know, the narcissist stole a lot of their energy, stole a lot of their, um, you know, a lot of their, they injected them with a lot of negativity and a lot of hatred. So the kids take that and they project that on someone else, you know, project it on the good parents a lot of times. So basically what you'll deal with when you're parenting a kid with a narcissist, you'll deal with the kid disrespecting you. You'll deal with a lot of erotic behavior from your children just because narcissists are so negative. The negative energy that lives inside of them, um, they put it on their kids because they do a lot to their children emotionally and mentally and physically. I mean, I couldn't even imagine what was done to my kid by the narcissist. I mean, I know in my soul that, you know, it was awful, whatever it was. I just know. I can't, you know, I wasn't there, but I can't. I can only imagine how many times he was physically disciplined or um, just just yelled at, screamed at, put fear in him. You know, narcissists do love yelling, you know, scaring the heck out of you. Can imagine that's what they do to children. Um, just, um, you know, rewarding them when they're acting out, acting bad, confusing the kids. Like, wow, you know, narcissists will tell your children, you know, everybody gets in trouble. It's okay. You know, don't worry about that. You know, just depends on how sadistic and, and sick they are. They just have a backwards way of parenting. They That's why they don't make good parents. That's why they, um, you know, that's what our society doesn't understand because, you know, a lot of people don't have this information. As like the young lady that I mentioned, I am so thankful that I've got this information at some point, you know. And um, I, I can just imagine how many people out there that still don't have it, that still don't know, that are still struggling and dependent on the legal system itself. You can't depend on the legal per- system itself. The only thing that you can depend on is the word of God. You know, I don't mean to sound preachy, guys, but that is the only thing that's going to truly hold you up and uplift you enough to make it through dealing with a, a individual like that, you know, an evil person like that you know just praying that's the only thing that's gonna really get you through and ha- let you have enough balance to still focus on and lift yourself up in your own life because it's very hard to um stay on your life path wherever you were um interested in doing whether it's you know going to study to be a um a nurse or you know starting a business or you know whatever you were interested in doing you know the relationship with a narcissist will always throw you off of your life path. You know, a lot of us were thrown off from years behind the things that we wanted to do because of how toxic those individuals are, how much of their negative energy they bring into you, even the things that they do to try to destroy you purposely, and how calculated they are. They are so calculated. They never, ever, ever stop calculating and planning things, planning to destroy you. So what is that? What is a person that, an individual that, I hate calling them a person and connecting them to um, human beings because they have no souls, you know? They have no souls. They're just walking um, beings without a soul. You know, they have no connection to a spirit, you know, so um, it's just so sad that children grow up with a lot of that rage and that frustration um, and hurting the good parent, trying to raise them and teach them good things, put good energy in them. And a the kid just purposely hurts you. It's because a narcissist put all that negative energy into them. So we have to keep praying with our little babies and getting them up in the church and let them understand God's love, you know. Narcissist is sucking, you know, the life out of our us and our children, and it's not fair that the courts don't want to see this. You know, as many times as you go to court, and I know some of you have, like I have myself, they can't see even a pattern of behavior. It's because they don't want to see it. They don't want to accept it. They just want to hurry up, make a ruling, and do half and half. Both of y'all get rights to the children because it's easier to do that. And it's, you know, very lazy decision making and it's a lack of empathy. You know, like I said, a lot of them are narcissists. You know, a lot of them are. They um, went into that field for power and control, you know, 
and they sit up in there and you can see some of the little smirks that they try to hide as you tell them what the narcissist did to you and explain to them how unstable they are and they still going to turn around and flip it around on you the judges will just like what narcissists do <laughs> flip things on you a million times and make you feel bad and still get a narcissist all these rights you know so society is you know we have the other generations coming up the next generation and my concern about them is that the next generation i mean we all um even this generation we've all been um you know exposed to this online social media facebook instagram and youtube you know and um you see all the narcissists online i know you guys you know have seen probably even followed a few narcissists before and um the things that they have the way that they live the you know the utterly you know how annoying they are because a lot of them flash flash and show off and show off they show off their bodies you know a lot of the female narcissists on you know online and in our society showing off their bodies now you know a lot of somatic narcissists um showing off their money their wealth and it's just a thing that's just how it is so this new generation is you know attracted to these things and um you know it seems like it's a lack of of um of of support and um you know understanding when it comes to choosing you know partners now for them because it's going to be all superficial now it's going to be oh you know getting with someone because of the way their pictures look on instagram or how their bodies look and starting a family with those people and um these are the people that's going to be in the court system for now on these are the people that that's coming the, the next generation you know they're going to have a lot to deal with dealing with these type of narcissists in this new generation, you know, um, you know, it, it's just, you know, so I feel like we all have a, a part to play in this. You know, we all have something that we have to, we should be supporting or something to, you know, fight this war on narcissism, no matter how small or how big it is, you know, um, you know, it's just, we all have to, um, step in and and take a role of letting somebody know hey you know this person you're talking about they may they sound like they could be a narcissist but i'm not a doctor so you know, i don't know but i can just tell you that they that's what it sounds like or you know when you're seeing somebody going through something or if you are dealing with a narcissist it's your job to of course be no contact protect yourself and protect your health you know um we all have different journeys in here you know god gave us a life path, a calling, we all have a journey to fulfill every single last one of us. And the narcissist um, cannot knock you or destroy your life path. That's what I mean. They can't destroy your life path if God is in your life because he won't let it happen. You know, I don't care what anybody says. They can't destroy it. They can try. They can try, but they fail. Um, they may, they may affect you. <laughs> They may worry you and they may scare you at times. The road will get rocky, but they can't stop you from doing what God wants you to do, whatever it is. So I always say, keep praying, keep striving and keep, you know, doing what you're doing, guys. But um, my concern, like I said, about society on narcissism is that they my, my my part I fear is that they won't get it for a long long time but in my heart I feel like they're going to get it one day maybe after we're all gone and you know but it's out here and it's spreading and I love to see it I love to see all these channels I love to see the growth um I love to see the support out here for victims who have been through this so um that's about all I have for you guys. And I want to thank you all so much for tuning in, guys. And thank you all so much um, for supporting this channel, guys. Um, I just hope um, I wish you all the best in your situations. Just keep your head up no matter what it is that you're going through, guys. And um, I love you guys. And I'll talk to you later.